I am George with Global Resources Corp. Today I'm going to take you through a demo with our prototype microwave unit. We're going to be converting tires into diesel fuel today. This is a sample of what we're going to be doing. Just ground up tires, a little soft. And what we're going to do is put this into the microwave reactor unit. Over here, we're going to miss that good tire sample. Center there was a thermal indicator. This bell jar is going to go on top. What that's going to do is create a vacuum. This is all done in a vacuum, because it would be very dangerous to do it without. And also, it doesn't pollute and it works more efficient. That's why I'm close the door. Over well, here's the vacuum system. The vacuum system is on. Inside of this unit here is a condenser. Looks like this. The gasified hydrocarbons we're going to add through the condenser. It's rolling around. This is water cooled. We use actually an antifreeze solution so we can cool it below freezing. The oil, the diesel fuel, will be condensed out, drip out the bottom, and it will come out at the bottom into that jar. Okay. Go over to the computer to turn it on. Okay, okay it's done. I'm going to open it up. are the remains of the tires that have been gasified. What's left over is pure carbon black. Carbon black is used in pigmenting plastics and also in making tires, so this product is saleable. Actually, it's pretty high quality carbon black. Perfectly done. There's no more hydrocarbons left in here. They've all been gasified. It loses approximately 60% of its weight and turns it to gases and oil. Over here in the condenser, take off the jar. Are you guys going to do a burn? What we have here is uh, pretty high grade stuff, mostly in the diesel fuel range. That came from just the 100 grams of tires.